Hi, so this is part one of our audio sound desk overview, and this one is all about the input connections. So we're looking at this section on the desk where we plug input sources into the desk. We've got a run of XLR and microphone connections, and then this desk has got some stereo channels, so we've got some dedicated channels there. Now I'm going to go over to my iPad view so we can zoom in a little bit more and show you in a bit more detail. I'm going to show you an excerpt from the manual. So I've zoomed in on the iPad um, and what you can see there is the input desk has got a three pin XLR which is the top connector um, labelled mic and then there's a line connector on jack and then there's an insert connector as well. So the microphone is where you will plug a microphone um, or if you've got a DI box on stage maybe for plugging a guitar into or a keyboard and um, we'll do another video on DI boxes and when to use them and um, that would also plug down the mic cable and then on the line input that would be for a local um, laptop source perhaps or audio off your phone um, or a CD player um, but you probably wouldn't use that on these individual channels because we've got the dedicated stereo channels further on the desk. Um, I'll come on to those in a minute. So we've then got channel inserts, a row of insert channels across the desk. Um, don't tend to use inserts so much anymore, um, but inserts allow you to send sound out of that connector and back into that connector um, so that um, you could use it, you could send it through a graphic equalizer. So if you've got a radio mic, maybe a lapel clip on mic, you would plug the insert in, wire it through the graphic equaliser and back again and then that graphic equaliser just sits on that one channel rather than um, being across all of the microphones. So I've done it when I've had lots of radio mics when I've been doing live sound and I'll put a drop a radio mic, a drop a graphic on each radio mic channel um, and then I've got individual control, I can get rid of feedback, tailor the tone, what have you um, and that's on an insert connector but you don't use them so often. Um, so to the stereo channels over this side, if I zoom in, move the iPad over, you'll be able to see what we're talking about there. So it's those that are in the centre of the view there on the iPad. Um, we've got some labelled stereo return, I'll come on to them later, and then the others are labelled stereo 1, stereo 2, stereo 3 and stereo 4. Um, and as you see on the iPad, we've got... Um, left stroke mono, there we are, um, and we've got right. So if it's a mono input source, we just plug it into the left, and if it's a stereo source, as most things are, you know, maybe off your phone or off a CD player or off a laptop, um, you'd plug it in left and right, um, and then that will then feed through in stereo through the desk to the left, left and right channels of the sound. Uh, now, just jumping ahead, um, on, the, on, on this desk, um, all of the microphone inputs are these white ones, um, so that's channels 1 through 10. And then these four blue channels on the right hand side here, they are the stereo channels. So when you fade a microphone channel up, that's a mono channel, um, so that will um, come out of left or right or both, depending on where you have the, the, the pan knob, which we'll come on to. Or the stereo channels, the blue ones, allow you to plug in a stereo channel into the desk with a separate left and right soundtrack. And, this, uh, and you can just push one fader up and it essentially takes two channels up with it, the left and the right. I'll come a bit more onto that in the pan video. So that's the input connections overview video. The next one we'll talk about in the next video is the gain section into the desk, the row of red knobs at the top of the desk.